Good evening, duck-type people. It's Wednesday night. We got another reveal stream going on. Ed Saracen here. We got Luffy. We got Sonny Wrath 11, our guest runner. What? Huh? Yeah. I know, right? Crazy. <laughs> right? Good times. Indeed. So, we got free Enterprise tonight. Yes. Free Enterprise... You know, I mentioned how as the, the boot camp progressed, we're going to get a little spicier. Mm -hmm. I think this this is one of the higher ends of the spicy scale in the boot camp. I would say so. This is um, this is fun. You know, you ever just wish you had everything all at once, all in front of you, you can go anywhere you want? Well, we're going to give it to you, and good luck making choices. Yes. The choice overload is real. <laughs> <laughs> and... I mean, even that statement in and of itself cannot be stressed enough. Yep. Because, as you will soon see, there's a lot of choices to make. <laughs> yeah. Free movement we're, everywhere. We're going to see a lot of things that you're going to need to adapt to as well. Yes. So keep that in mind. Some uh, standard routing that you might consider may not be quite as viable. Yes. So, should we jump right into the flags? Let's do it. Alright. Uh, we got fun stuff going on right off the bat. We have a random alternate final boss. <laughs> um, you want to pop out that? Yeah. So, Alright, so we got some go. options. Mm -hmm. We could have carry two Tia 2, both of them, mm -hmm. as the double dragons. We could have a fun dead, which is probably the hardest one of this entire group. <laughs> Good luck. Which is two buffed Lich 2s and four buffed Phantoms. Yeah. A, They're like a lot more scary. Yeah. They're a lot yeah. more scary than what you really would expect. Yeah. That's the party that when you see that end final boss, that's a real clench moment of, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, there's a big question of, do I have the offense to offense this is there even time to defense this yep uh warmack and friends two warmacks and six evil men uh whack a garland probably the tamest of these which is chaos and eight garlands mm -hmm. the sahagan wagon where we get kraken one kraken two some arsahags and whiz sahags and the snake pit with tia one tia two and a bunch of snakes mm -hmm. so lots of options there we'll find out what we get when we get there uh, but because we've got that going on we also have a short tofer so you will be able to iterate quite easily yeah short tofer is very short yeah forgiving if you run into that you know quite horrific final boss you don't kind of do another six to eight minute dive to go back down you can just go right back in so there is a bit of safety there all right scaling um Boss HP scaling is up. Mm -hmm. That can be a little spooky sometimes, but as you will see when we get into the incentive items, it's not quite as spooky as you think. Mm -hmm. Also notable, no random encounters. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like, um, I would say standard when you play this game mode here in Final Fantasy 1. Uh, no overworld, no dungeon encounters, so we're going to have to get creative with how we get our levels, um, but they're going to come pretty fast as well. Yeah. And, and I mean, the XP and gold boost 3.0 times and plus 100 is, it's pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And pretty fast, I still feel is an understatement for a 3.0 X. <laughs> yeah. So things, yeah. there's a lot of things and places so many things in places <laughs> everything everywhere all at once <laughs> yes except for the bosmian yes and there's a reason well, for that. there's a reason for that so this is a fabulous mode of being able to pick where you want to go whenever you want to go there mm -hmm. and uh trying to maximize the value of anything that you're doing yeah the the amount of items in the pool can actually be kind of disheartening because you're still going to be looking for dungeon items and uh you know you'll have six required key items in the course of this mm 
Uh, any any notes from you on this, Sonny? I mean, ultimately speaking, this is where what you have available to you right off the start is going to lead into a bit of a headache because you have everything available except for sea and sky incentives as well as the locked incentives. Mm -hmm. So routing becomes a huge, huge issue here. So I'll, I'll do my best to explain it as we're going through. All right. Uh, we don't really care much about the game mode and overworld. Sure, we have early open, whatever. Yay. Maps and routing, uh, nothing really here either. Yeah, don't same, worry about it. Same as it always is. Freebies. <laughs> yeah, yes. here we go. Yeah, freebies are yes. <laughs> uh, also notable, better trap treasure. So anytime that you have a spike tile, um, well, I guess it's like 16 chests in the pool specifically or something like that. Mm -hmm. But those chests that are locked behind spike tiles tend to have better loot. So, you know, check those. Yeah. They're good to go for. Mm -hmm. uh, notable also free tail. However, <laughs> there, there's an asterisk on that. Um. Also notable here, we have a guaranteed endgame Masmune, uh, and Warmech is guarding it. What guaranteed endgame means is that it is moved into Topher. <laughs> However, it's short Topher, and there's just a pile of chests right as you walk in. You'll see it. Yeah, I will show which chest is holding the Maza in short Topher. Okay. Uh, we got a very interesting shop shuffle. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Yep. Random weapons and armor, including caster and elite gear. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can buy ribbons. Yep. Sometimes you can buy masas. It's true. Mm -hmm. The most fun seeds are the ones where you have four masas and four <laughs> ribbons. Yes. Uh, beyond that, not a whole lot going on there. Just mm -hmm. just note that you really ought to check every weapon and armor shop until you have your conditions met mm -hmm. for finishing the seat. Yeah. Uh, enemies. We have a required Warmack in addition to the uh, Warmack in a box. So you're going to have a little bit of difficulty getting to Tia mm -hmm. as there will be a robot in the way. Mm-hmm. We'll see, pirates. We'll see where Sony's levels are at that point. It may be okay. Yeah. Pirates. Buffed and unsafe. <laughs> so, alright. Unsafe is really important. Yeah. Because the way that the pirates work normally is they get an empty script. They, they just they don't get to use any spells or skills that rolled onto them. Nah. Nah. They get to use them now. Also, buffed is basically like they're something like fifth level fighters in iron gear, something yeah. like that. Yeah. They'll have yeah. over a hundred hit points and yeah. they'll hit Actually, hard. <laughs> they can go as far as level ten fighters. So mm -hmm. occasionally you'll see them with about two hundred to two hundred and fifty HP. Yeah, it can happen. Notably though, this will put a little extra emphasis and value on your spells like zap and bane because these insta kills will still kill them because their m depth is still trash so keep that in mind nuke might not yeah. work but bane might yeah zap bane and quake mm -hmm. all have some massive use against buff pirates mm -hmm. uh buffed astos is a very scary spellcaster. <laughs> so yeah just keep in mind, we'll be a little bit more dangerous than normal. Be ready. Yep. Because alternate it... fiends. <laughs> Alt fiends are fun. <laughs> yeah, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, so you're not necessarily going to see Lich per se, mm -hmm. but whoever is at the Lich spot in Earth Cave will have a you know buffed version for. Topher experience. Yeah, which can really make I mean, for some interesting final boss combinations. 
This just also to... can change the pool of skills and spells. Mm -hmm. Such as if you run into an Asura at any of the fiend spots, instead of getting what that fiend would normally have, you then have a bunch of cure spells thrown into the pool. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got Fight Bahamut, and he's buff. He's swole, he's been to the gym. <laughs> He hits hard. That free tail was so enticing. <laughs> Fight him at your at your option. Yeah. You, you may choose to do that, yeah. as we say in the tabletop role playing world. Mm hmm. Um. Oh, B side tiles. All right. B side tiles means there there won't just be a one eye tile. There's more B side tiles than there are tile locations. So that's worth noting, but you can have some really fun encounters like two to three eyes or three to four agamas or red giant three you agamas. You can have waters and nagas. You can have two to four worms. You could have a nine metal, a uh, seven to nine metal slime tile, if I remember correctly. The uh, iron goals, two to three, yep. I think. Uh, one to two on the one iron to two. goals. Oh. There's there are a lot of different options for getting your party leveled up with the B-side tiles. So you definitely want to make sure to check the tiles as you're going through as you never know where you will run into what you want to grind on. Um, another very good one is two to four green dragons. Yes. Mm hmm. Um, question from Herbie B about the alternate fiends having their own weaknesses known. Yes, they are in the wiki. Yes. Fully documented. Yep. Uh, party this composition. Th this one's fun. Sonny, do you want to take this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love to take this. So, we only get to start with two party members out of all of the classes. And they are forced on us. So, you can start with two mages you could start with two black mages white mage black mage red mage white mage you could start with any of these you could also be in a seed where you start with two melee and on top of that we do at least have the ability to get more party members as you notice that npc recruits are turned on as well as the fiends are going to have recruits but duplicates are in the pool, so you can decide to just stick with your starting two party members, or then recruit, or you can decide to recruit more party members in order to fully flesh out your party and really have a strong composition going, if you will. So very important with this. The party members that you recruit into the nun slots will start at level one. However, you do have the option to replace either of your starting characters. Mm -hmm. Very important set of considerations there. And Sonny will and probably talk about that as we get into the start of the seed. I definitely will, because there are some things I very well may be looking for throughout this seed. All right. Class balance. You will see we have thief lock picking on, which is kind of funny because you're not really guaranteed to get a thief. <laughs> uh, we have not have the black belt crit rate, so black belts are very strong. Black belts tend to be very strong in this flag set generally. The extra boss HP, the fact that you're going to be grinding on a spike tile, no matter what your party comp is, they tend to be very good. I mean, even at level 21, a black belt without the halved crit rate on can start soloing from there. Yep. Uh, yeah, just a note on the, the black belt crit rate. It's without the flag turned on, it's a percentage crit rate equal to your level, roughly. And with it on, it's half your level. <laughs> Yeah. Still very yeah. strong. Still a 40, very strong. 
42 black belt at that point is just hitting for obscene amounts of damage. Yep. All right. On to the next. Do we have anything else of note in here? Um, oh, yeah, we do start with a random AoE caster item. So that's going to be very helpful. Check your inventory. It could be an armor or a weapon, but it will be an AoE caster item. It could be an instant kill. It could be, uh, you know, fire two stick, whatever. But we'll have something. Our equipment's still minus three to plus five. Keep that in mind. You, we're gonna, we're gonna be seeing a lot of equipment in these flags. Mm -hmm. And I think the last notable thing is we have turned on the airboat. So. The airboat can land in the water or take off from the water in addition to the land. That can make ordeals a little less painful to get to. Mm -hmm. One thing to keep in mind is that if you generate a free enterprise seed off of the preset in and of itself, you will not have an airboat on. So if you want to have that, make sure you turn airboat on in the experimental tab. The Async Weekly will have that enabled, just so you know. But for the most part, honestly, as spicy as these flags are, this is actually just a preset with the airboat turned on. Yeah. So, <laughs> but this is a very different mode of play than we've explored, so I figured it was worth exploring. I agree. This is by far one of my favorite modes of play that we have to offer. So nice thing about this is uh, it's a little bit more popcorn seed in some regards. It's not quite chaos rush where you don't have to light any orbs, but it uh, it is a much faster flag set when you're used to it. Typically. Yeah, typically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here's that double melee that uh, Sonny was talking about. And on top of that, we have a black belt to start. So uh, you already know we're going to have a punch cannon online. Indeed. On top of that, we didn't mention that there are two bonuses and no malices. In the case of this black belt, he's strong with plus legendary swords. Uh, the plus 800 GP, kind of nice for early game if I happen to run across a mage and am able to recruit it. So... Moving on to the Thief, we have plus 20 magic defense and plus 10 strength. Fairly nice to see. Magic defense just allowing for a little more longevity. And the strength, going to hit a bit harder. Outside of that, nothing too major. As for the other two party members, we don't know what we're going to have. So I'm just going to name them question mark and double question mark. All righty. Well, if you're ready, Sonny, let's let's kick this off, huh? Count it. Three, two, one, let's dance. Da -da 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 so, -da 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 -da. originally I said I wasn't going to go into Canary at first, but I do want to talk to the hint giver. Hmm. And Light shirt we do cane. start with a mage stick. We're going to go ahead and check level one magic just to see what's here. We do have cure four if we get a white mage, and we have temper available if we get a black or red mage. So I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good here. Not checking the weapon or armor shops yet? Not yet. Nice music. Indeed. <laughs> if you pay attention to the music, this isn't the normal airship theme. <laughs> did, did you know that in this most recent release of the randomizer that, that came out this week, there was a patch note for super secret stuff. Mm -hmm. The rod is super nice to find in your first check. Yep, that's a really nice one. It is. And on top of that, we get the uh, we do get the bonus. Were we wrong about it, Jay? I wonder what it is. There are no loose in this flag set. Now, I am starting off with checking the Cardia Isles as these are a few quick chests that I can get that don't require me to really do much of anything. 
I really want to go ahead and try to get one, maybe two of the free experience chests in order to, as I say, there we go. in order to get my party off the ground and going. Because running with just these two party members can be a little scary. The other thing is the need for resources early on. Mm -hmm. Just money or usable gear. Very important. And it's it's good to like have an idea of where things are at. This is actually a, a pretty close to what I do for this style of routing. I usually go to Oasis after Cardia. Note on this recruit, you have to kill the vampire to get the recruit. Mm -hmm. Early Sarda only applies to getting the key item. Sounds good, Jay. And we actually got the ruby coming in from Sarda, so that then allows us to stay over here to check what's in the Titan's treasury. Ooh. Which is a big important. find. Yep, that's a good one. Ah. Unfortunate. No more EXP just yet, but that's fine. So my next stop is going to be over here at Crescent Lake. And then after that, I'm going to see what I have in tow and go from there. But before that, I want to check the shop, see if I can find the shop item and start selling some stuff off that I really don't want right now. Yeah, this is all part of the getting the resources early on. You'll see here we had ice armor for sale. Uh, not normal, which is the best part. Ice sword plus five, pretty good. Coral plus Coral three. Sword okay plus for that three. Yeah, nice. not bad, not bad. There we go. Fingers aren't wanting to work. I love it. <laughs> oh, I see a nice little recruit sitting right there. Ooh. And a defense sword. So that was the red mage sitting here at Crescent Lake, which is super nice because that does at least give us a spellcaster. And with what we saw at level one in Canaria, that's actually going to give us an extra little boost of power that can help us here in the early game. So we're going to run back here to Canaria in order to pick up Ice 2 and Temper. I'm going to take a look. Yeah, we're going to hold off on any magic there. Check the armor shop here. Aegis Shield is neat, yeah. but not helpful right now. Another mage stick and is okay. It's expensive, that, though. Yeah, that's the only problem with the mage stick. But we at least have another high power weapon. Check the blur sing on that guy, too. See what he looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ten luck and plus life. Oh. We're looking pretty good there. Okay, that'll work. Very strong blurs there. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> if I had exit or warp, what I would be doing is I would actually be flying the airship over here to Temple of Fiends. And then landing it here, coming in to kill Garland. Eh, I should be able to kill with the flame sword. And then using warp or exit just to come back. So uh, point brought up in uh, in the chat here, checking the blur saying mid seed. If you go to the status screen for the character, you are able to hit select there, just like you would do for shop info. And that will show you the blur saying. All right, we got a second red. So we're going to grab temper and ice two again <laughs> because everything worked out for that. On top of that, we got the katana as well as the adamant from the royals. So this tells me I should probably head over here to dwarf just to see what the adamant's going to yield. While I'm on my way out, I will check the two <clears throat> chests and continue on my way from there. Um, and, and worth noting, uh, in case it was forgotten, that black belt can equip the katana <coughs> for the Excal. Yep. Awesome. 
Yep. And normally, you're not even thinking about equipping weapons on a black belt. So the fact that this is actually something that's doable is super nice. Also, there's our money. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Mm, it's and, depressing about those eh. silver bracelets being minus three. That's a bummer. I mean, we did see gold bracelet plus threes. We did. Sun swords. The sun sword plus three? Mm. Yeah, we'll grab one of them. And now, we'll just go ahead and check level three black magic where we do at least see fire three. Um, ultimately speaking, I feel kind of safe with this party. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with cure three available. Yeah. And both those red mages having life already, plus the legendary weapons on the black belt. I mean, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, yeah. Whether or not I'm... Ooh. Okay, I, I I have no words. Hi, Air. <laughs> ah, perfect. Level 4 warp. That's what I like to see. So, with that in mind... Did you check the item shop there? I don't think I did. Negative. But I'll be coming back to it because I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a grind here. We hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, That's exceedingly vanilla. I mean, it's pretty close to it. And the downside here is you have the spells swapped on your red mages, mm -hmm. too. So it's going to be a little bit of menu lag as your brain adjusts to that. Actually, I, I've already taken account for that in my head. Not a whole lot of health on these giants, so that's okay. Yeah, we do have the massive plus of that. Mm -hmm. Gonna get a little bit of nice money from this as well. And the money is what I'm a little more concerned about. Yeah, giants are good for that. Mm -hmm. uh, Maddie asking, what's the class? We're doing free enterprise. Taking on that FF4 style. Because we are going to, uh, we're going to do lots of fast things. All right. So, I don't know if anybody has actually gone over this with the Hall of Giants itself. But there are two different tiles. And for the most part, they go in an alternating pattern. And we don't want this encounter. So, the next tile I'm going to go check is I'm going to go check the Earth Elemental tile up in the top room here. The Giants, where they're good at EXP right now, I also want to have an idea as to what I can take for the end. Hmm. Gramps, not worth it. And just continue on from there. Yeah. Two more unique spike tiles on Earth 4 that Sony can check, but a little lackluster so far. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, though. I could, in theory... Attempt to take down whatever's at Lich's spot. That will be one heck of a fight, though. <laughs> I think with the... the temper, uh, Katana plus four. It's all right. Yeah, you, you've got a Katana. You've got the Excal if you prefer to swap to that. Mm -hmm. They're both very reasonable weapons. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have options. So... Hello, Vampire. We at least have Fire 3 charges, so that's a plus. And goodbye, Vampire, as per normal. I mean, you've even got swords on those red mages. A ribbon. Useful. I think I know where that's going. <laughs> yeah, this that's is going cool. on to that specific red. Yeah. The Vampire, the speed bump for the speed bump. All right, let's see what's on this first tile. Ugh. Yeah, Garbage. it's not great. That's a little that, better. on the other hand, is a little bit better. Yeah, that's not so bad. I tend they're to just, like zombies. Yeah. 
they're just going to hit a little hard. But since we have Fire 3 and the Mage Stick, they're not going to be too much of an issue. Alright. I feel comfortable going for this. What I am going to do, on the other hand, though, is I'm going to switch out the Thief and the Black Belt. Mainly because the Thief does have the bonus agility, which means higher chance of first strikes, lower chance of being ambushed, and is also much more dodgy. Dodgy is good. As we see another Thief and a Behemoth. Hmm. So we're going to go ahead and temper up and throw out a defense. Good. Stun going out on the target. I was hoping it would. Hooray. So the only thing we are hoping to not see are any instant kills. And we didn't have to worry about it. It's nice to have an orb lit at the not quite 13 minute mark. <laughs> Indeed. So. You know, you can just write off that whole continent now until you get the slab. Maybe not worry about the slab. Who knows? So. so even though I didn't check the item shop here in Elf, I knew I was going to be coming back here regardless. Cheap housing. So we're going to pick up some cheap housing. And then I'm going to pick up some safeties here. Going to give a quick and little... I uh heads up to chat here i got the wiki pulled up for you guys because we do have a wiki if you didn't know that the all final fiends behemoth there weakness is ice resist fire and earth and it's an undead enemy if that makes any sense to you guys so it adds not a whole lot into the pool a lot of fire spells and a nuke for fiend too so something to be mindful of there is another nuke in the pool oh the save outside provoca that tells me that we're going to see some pirates. We are going to see some pirates. And I am picking up Wall. Uh, wall is great for just safety in and of itself. On top of that, since we have warp and exit now, Ice Cave becomes free. Uh, do I want to take Brack? Nah. I don't want to take any of those. Lackluster Black Magic. It happens. It does. And hey, look, a third red mage. Hmm. Uh, how many heals am I at? All right. We're going to go ahead and fill up on heals. And it's time to take on these buffed pirates. So like we mentioned earlier, the pirates are buffed, so they are going to do more damage. They have the chance of having some really nasty spells and abilities but they're not too terribly bad on hp on top of that since we have two fade casters at the ready it just makes us fight that much easier and we're about to get paid out a lot of experience it's true pretty good fight power bonk's power not bonk. bad to see And, you know, speaking of writing off areas, you know, a lot of people don't like Ice Cave, <laughs> but fortunately, with Free Enterprise, it is very much free. But On top of that, you have a lot of spike tiles to check here for your grinds, and overall, it can be a very lucrative place to hit. You're telling me to remind you not to forget this place, but with the five unique spike tiles, I think you're always coming here anyway. Yep. Until you get blazed. This is definitely a tile to avoid. Thankfully, <laughs> it's very easy to avoid. Yeah, it's the tile that nobody likes to go near anyway. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. It's just a Thor hammer. Ooh, okay. 
right. newbies, not bad. They are weak to fire. They are. They are weak to fire, so we might be able to make something work out of this. Ooh, they seem very evasive, too, which dragons tend to be. And they're thick. Yeah, they're a little thicker than I'd like. But they're not overly thick. No. I wouldn't hang a black belt grind on this. No. Oh, by far no. That, this, on the other hand... That's much better, actually. We might be able to get a good black belt grind going here. Except... Uh, no. That <laughs> Touch said no. Come on, guys. Uh, that sleep touch was an immediate. Uh, uh we're not, we're not doing this. And these are really thick R hydras yeah. too. They can roll as low as like 90 HP I've seen. So these over like 250 are kind of gross. Indeed, but as you can see, we're already level 16 and 17, and we're about 17 and a half minutes in. Mm -hmm. good. It's good to have levels equal to your your timer, right? Yeah. Typically, that's what I think of when I'm going in this kind of a mode here. I try to get my level equal to my time until I start taking my levels on that black belt. Doesn't always work, but it's a good way to look at it. I'd say it's a healthy way to look at it. Mm -hmm. All right. The Boy. tiles here, they're not great, but they're not bad either. That blue dragon tile will be taken into consideration for later. But it is not something I would say is a pressing matter. Couple All right. Free ones here in Volcano. Hopefully you get lucky. I'm hoping so. And I do have that lock picking online, so. Oof. Earth Elementals, we're just going to reset out of that immediately. Ambushing <laughs> or cremate. <laughs> Gross. So normally you're carrying about your steps and where you're taking them, trying to step on as many damage tiles as you possibly can, things like that. With Free Enterprise, you don't have to worry about that anywhere near as much. So you can actually conserve more HP here in Volcano than if you were running through it in AC that has your standard encounter table. So you're going to notice me walking in some strange paths. Heal up one more time, and we'll check out what... Ooh. Oh. There you go. This, oh. this could be tricky with only ice, too. It all depends upon how much health they roll. Less than the blue Ds, it looks like. A lot sure less enough. than the blue Ds. Oh, yeah. Oh. I think we have our tile. It seems that way. I think probably swap to the X cow. Yeah, that might help a little bit better. Oh, oh I'm definitely swapping to the X cow. Hello, Life now. Reboot. Welcome. Indeed, hello, Life Reboot. And yes, unlearning the lava walk is a whole experience. <laughs> so, Sonny, do you have any in interest in checking the other tile in this room? Um, I'll probably end up going towards the Agama tile that's in front of the Volcano Incentive. Because okay. with Volcano being incentivized, I feel like that's going to be the more important chest to go after. Yeah, it's just my and, thought process is like, it's right here. It's like four steps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I'd be walking a little farther out of my way. Yeah, I, I get it. It's just the, the end of question is, you know, is this the good enough that you don't care about what's there? Or is it, you know, is it worth taking the time to check the other tile? I think I can definitely get something going off of this because I'm right now. I th think my cutoff point is going to be 25. Except I was smart and had the black belt attack the same dragon that the thief did. These things happen. Well, you're taking your levels here, Sony. You want to give um, 
the watchers here a little bit of a heads up on the what your sprites are since they got some custom sprites going on tonight yeah actually um i'm glad you mentioned that luffy because these are the castlevania sprites made by dark moon and we use these sprites a lot in co-op though this year dark moon is going to be using a different set of sprites so it's it's going to be interesting to see them as we just go through all right so that should be 23 There we go. Healed back up. And back to more. And there's already the crit rate showing what it can do. As you saw, that green dragon just went down like it was nothing. So, even though this grind is going to take a little while because none of the party members have died, ultimately speaking, it's going to lead me into a bit of a safer end of the seed yeah the other the thing... random final encounter the safety mm -hmm. of levels on everybody else is very important mm -hmm. <clears throat> the other thing to keep in mind with it is that if i were to switch out the red mages for white mage or black mage they would have level eight charges already well after this battle okay thieves down that's good the thief is already at the level that I'm okay with because we have lock picking online. So the key in and of itself has less use. Ooh, another preemptive. Okay. Yeah. And these dragons are just so skinny. Mm-hmm the svelte Italian models here. <laughs> Pretty much. So we're already nearing level 32, which is really, really nice to see at, you know, 24 minutes into the seed. Honestly, I could probably stop the grind here and just continue on through, but... That wouldn't be the safest thing for me to do. Yeah, there's definitely a consideration about having the levels before you move on. And part of me even considers the idea of downing one of the red mages and, you know, continuing as like a two man grind. Which exactly. uh, the dragons may facilitate. Mm -hmm. Just so long as the black belt doesn't die, that's all that matters. And even if the Black Belt does die, these Red Mages have life. All right, we are almost there. And a first strike, you're too kind, game. It looks like around 260 to 280 yeah, health on these. That's what it looks like, yeah, yeah. 260 to 280 for sure. That's a really skinny green dragon. That's nice. Yeah. Because they normally have 400, if yeah. I remember correctly. Yep. Yes. So, thank yeah. you, Life Reboot. So there are many different breakpoints that a Black Belt has. At level 4... If you're unarmed, you will start getting two hits. At level 12, you'll start getting four hits. 21 is six hits. 32 is eight hits. 42 is 10 hits. Mm -hmm. So I just passed the eight hit threshold, which is exactly where I want to be. And we'll go ahead and get these light warriors healed back up definitely not going to heal up fully but at least bring them close mm -hmm. and we're off into the races as 32 is a very good breakpoint 
since we do have a Force War Mac, we're going to get a lot of extra EXP just from that. So, Agamatile. More dragons. Would have been another viable one. Potentially. Oh! oh my. Interesting. Do we just park here for three minutes and finish? <laughs> I mean, that's the real question. I'm at least going to take one. Yeah, I mean, just damage down the rest of the party and then just get that's over in three seconds. <laughs> hey, cube, that's useful. That's, that's a good it thing. It is. I mean, I think the only problem we're going to have is that these eyes aren't going to be able to take out the thief with any mm. modicum of ease. Nope. You'd have to go and damage him down on the, uh, the damage tiles and then hope the red dragons help you out. Yeah, but I'm also out of charges yeah, so. for healing and right low now. On oh, heal well. Potion. At least yeah. we saw it. That's what the triple eye tile looks like, chat. It is existing. It is there. That is, we call it sometimes the three eye grind. Yep. Yep. It's fantastic. Ooh, Beelzebub. So, Beelzebub from FF2 is about to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See? A punch. So, uh, All right. Beelzebub, uh, while they were here, had yeah, weakness to lightning, <laughs> resists fire, ice, and earth, and is also an undead category. So, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, Beelzebub, even in FF2, is undead. With this scaling... Uh, you know, I'd say probably about 28 would be good on a fighter. Yeah. If you're running a thief, you probably want about 32, 33. You want the, um, let me see if I can find my handy dandy, uh, break points here for weapons. So for a fighter, if you're going to be going for that Masa, they get five hits at level 24. So a vanilla Masa would give them five hits. Five hits typically what you'd look for. Um, with the scaling on the bosses having a little bit of extra HP, I think Sony's right. Level 28 for a little added layer of security would probably not be the worst idea in the world. Yeah, and the X-Cal, I believe, is 29 as the fifth hit, but the plus on it is going to take the level down by one mm -hmm. for every plus. Yes. Or because increase the next level plus two, it'd mm -hmm. be 27 for the fifth hit. Yep, it is or 29. Or increase the level by one for every minus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so that's Marsh done. The dungeon that a lot of people don't like. You did Marsh. And with... <laughs> yeah, I yep. know, right? There was a bottle and a black shirt there. So, bottle. You know. Got it. Okay. And now we're going to do yeah. Canaria Locked. Yeah. Hooray. Huzzah. It's Canaria Locked. You know, that lock picking definitely comes in handy here and Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, uh Sky, sky, sky. I mean, I almost have everything I need to fully do that area. Um, I say go for it. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna hit ordeals first. Just see what I get. That seems fair. Airboats tech incoming. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> And there's an airboat tech. No, I wanted to save. Thank you. All right, here we go into the pillar maze. Let's go lower. All right. Ah, Felly's already answering the question I'm gonna ask. Which pillar is it gonna be here in the four pack? <laughs> of course. Wow. Nice. Oh, we don't want this fight. Bye. Yeah, not so great. So we're really just Oxiel away from Go? Yeah. Mm hmm. All right. Sure. And we're back in the air because Airboat Tech is amazing. Always remember your airboat tech. Did we ever find the shop item? I don't think so. Negative. We have not yet. So it's got to be on rack or caravan. Yep. 
Oh, oh no. That, the nightmare oh, scenario. Yeah, that, that feels a little bad. Hopefully that won't matter. Yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and jump into Sky first before we actually do that. Because we definitely have everything we need in order to just blast this out. So, Sky, you know, highest density of checks in all the dungeons. Also, one of the shorter dungeons, a lot shorter in Free Enterprise. Yeah, the step count here is super low if you're not checking everything. Yeah. And when you're also not getting random encounters, it's just fabulous. It's definitely a, a tale of two dungeons when it comes to this place. Because, you know, like they said, when you're just going, 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 and that's hilarious, by the way. That is amazing. <laughs> the best yeah. news. Yeah. When, when, when you're just go-moding a dungeon for one single box, like, this feels like it takes no time at all. But if you're having to check for a random or a couple loose in this place, this can be like a nine minute dungeon and drive you absolutely mad. All right, so we are going to switch the party around because it's time if you for remember McDonald's. From, <laughs> if you remember from earlier, it is time for McDonald's. So let's let's see what. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we're OK. That black Gotta belt MDEF and the ribbon coming in clutch. Yep. Yep. That's a little less fine. A little bit, but still okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. But actually super nice to have two of the party members go down to funnel more of that XP. Yeah, definitely is. No. Controller? Thank you. Alright, who do we got? Echidna. Echidna, okay. Echidna's weakness is punch. Yep, most enemies are weak to punch. I mean, look at that five hits for 731. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if Black Belt doesn't kill here, there's something wrong. Oh, this is a thick echidna. The echidna? The echidna. Remember, 240% top end, yep. so when yep. you've got your 1,000 base, it yeah. could be 2,400. Yep. It certainly was every bit of about that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, oh, baby. Oh, there we go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so for those Luke. keeping score at home, Echidna's weakness was punch, but it is also fire. Uh, she resists poison, ice, and lightning, and the category is a mage, not an undead. So we do have some variants out there. And I Luffy have heard already rumors. knows where this is going. <laughs> I've heard rumors of potential expansions to the list. Mm -hmm. I have heard rumors of expansions to the list as well. Yep. So there's some really cool stuff some of our uh, devs and friends have going on behind the scenes that are going to be very exciting should it work out. So, you know, hang tight because some more fun stuff coming along. Oh, man. Double punch cannon. Yep. Level 38. That'll work. That'll do the job. <laughs> and another Warmack to, uh, yep. to feet. Yep. Yep. Oof. I will say one thing that could potentially be painful is by dropping one of the mages instead of the thief. Mm. You're putting yourself in the position of not necessarily having the AOE firepower you might want for the final boss. That said, true, the thief evasion can really help. Mm -hmm. I mean, I also have a secondary plan for that. Because we still have a couple other fights to do that can yield us EXP. They're not necessary, but they're definitely nice. Odin. Also, hello, Odin. So you want to go over uh, Odin while yeah. he dies to punch? So, again, Odin's weakness is punch, just like most every enemy in the game today. Uh, real weakness, lightning. Uh, resist status, poison, death, and ice. 
Uh, category is giant, so interesting. Uh, does add another nuke into the pool as a fiend too. So we got a, two more nukes in the pool that I've seen for sure. And let me just double check Echidna, uh, Crack, Zap, X for Wall, Quad X. So uh, some spooky stuff, but our, I think our levels are okay right now to survive most of her insta-kills. I said I was going to do it, and then my brain went, no, you're going straight to Topher. <laughs> no, brain, work with me here. We're, we're going to go punch down a Bahamut, so that way you all can see just how buffed Bahamut works. Mm -hmm. I mean, for however long it lasts. Yeah. Probably two turns. Yes. Now show me your true strength. Come at me, warriors, or die by my claws. Okay. It could be a lot to take in, fellas, and that is true. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to have the wiki out to also kind of check things a little bit as you're going. Um, but just also know that alt fiends, they can add a lot of random stuff out there. So a little extra preparation, an extra level or two does not hurt when having to deal with uh, alt fiends, especially with alt final boss at the end of that. Yep. And uh, uh, asking if there's the option to fight the uh, the minions. Yes, mm -hmm. they are packs of dragons of some sort. They the, are. The fun part is the if you have Bahamut's horde on, you can have an incentive item back there, and if you don't have the tail and tail is not removed, also important caveat. Uh, you have to fight the minions to get back to that incentive <clears throat> chest. It's very funny. <laughs> Alright, that white shirt, very nice to have. That's not terrible. On top of that, the black belts have hit level 40, mm -hmm. so we're only two levels <clears throat> off from hitting that final break point. <laughs> we have a bonus war mech. Yes, we do. We do have a bonus war mech, and like I said earlier... I'm going to show you all which chest it is. This one. So this Wormac is going to die a lot faster than the previous Wormac did. And none of the party goes down. Honestly, I should equip the Katana. And that's 42 on the Black Belt. There we go. It's a beautiful thing. It's a nice boss set, too. It is. And just like that, we are ready to go. So, so. there is something to be said about short Topher go mode at 39 minutes. <laughs> that thing is, man, these flags are fast. Yep. Very much so. And now you're seeing the true power of the black belt. As we should all be familiar with mm. from... Uh, about a week and a half ago. <laughs> yep. 1334, Beelzebub 2 definitely did not roll as high as I was expecting. Odin 2, on the other hand, this could be a scary fight. Yeah. Uh, or... you got turn order. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Black Belt that go burr. Happen. Oh, okay. There's our first little bit of resistance, but it low rolled like heck. Yeah, that, that was significant low rolls, and by Echidna. Oh, wow. <laughs> Echidna 1 had more HP than Echidna 2. <laughs> yep. This is the part so, where we get afraid of the exit boss. Yeah, and, right. And <laughs> Ooh. All right. Oh. So we got the snake pit. Yep, double Echidna. All right. The snacks do have their morale boosted also, so they will not run away like they did in the very early incarnations of these newer final bosses. But they still have very low HP. And we know where both echidnas are. Punch them in the echidnas. Yeah. Alright, I'm not sure which echidna that is. That much absorb, I would say, probably Echidna 2? Nope, that was Echidna 1, mm, this is Echidna 2. Okay, interesting. We're I was hoping... The up. <laughs> yep, we gotta keep the meat shield up. A little swag there. And that's it. 
That's a GG at 41-12. Yeah, it's pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Not much right, I could talk about fair, during that so far. Being fair, you had so many locations that you got to skip. The yeah. not having to do slab, not having to do waterfall, um, that that helps a lot, and that also meant a couple uh, fetch turn-ins didn't happen either. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have herb, I didn't have crystal, I didn't have TNT, I yep. didn't because I kept the thief, I didn't need the mystic key. Yeah, we didn't even find the key um, either. Yeah, key was probably in C or something. Probably never found the vorpal. Yeah, actually. No, Key couldn't have been in C because Cube was in Canaria Locked. Oh, that's right, actually. True. 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 That's probably Waterfall. Yep, yeah, probably it's Waterfall. Probably, it's either Waterfall or the shop item. Yep. Yeah, because right. we never ended up checking the shop item at Onrack. So, yeah, I mean, if you're able to skip incentive locations, this can go really, really fast. And on top of that, as you saw with the B side tiles, you can pick a multitude of grinds and just stick with it for a bit. Mm -hmm. um, had I known that the three eyes were on the red dragon tile, I actually would have ended up dropping to solo black belt and taking that up to 42 very quickly. Mm -hmm. But even still, finishing with a 41 is really, really good for this flag set. We'll point out also Sony's step count there was 5,100. That's a very low step count, but I mean, you are in the air right away in this flag set, so you're not doing much walking. So anywhere from 5 to 5,600 to 6,500 steps would kind of be a good thing to think in. And you saw he checked 28 chests. So even with all of those boxes that he opened early on trying to gain some XP there at Cardia, it was probably half of them of the boxes that he opened for the entire seed was there in Cardi in the first two minutes. So keep that in mind as well. You may have to open a lot depending on what to, you know areas you have to go to, but with no random locations, at least you know what boxes you're going to have to open. Yeah, and Cardia in and of itself, just to give you an idea of how many boxes there are, you have five in, or I'm sorry, six in the first uh, first island, which is the forest. You have three in the marsh island and three in the grassland. That's seven so, in the forest. Or seven in the forest, yeah. So it's 13 boxes. Yep. I say six, but I'm excluding the incentive. Yep. So gotcha. it's about half. Uh, so opening up with Cardia, if you're looking for early EXP chess, it's a really good play to make as that can really get your party off the ground and rolling very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. And then from there, just find your key items and go wild. Yep. Yeah, this can be a really good flag set as well for uh, things that it's not intended for. So if you were doing the uh, floaterless and you were having problems navigating the seas this is actually a good flag set to do that because there's no overworld encounters you can just sail around figure it out um, if you're still trying to learn dungeon layouts trying to figure out your step routing another good way to do it is in here because we have no dungeon encounters mm -hmm. so take the time to explore if, uh, if you want to in a secondary seed or you know just figure out what you need in terms of the walking around and routing portion and go ahead and practice that here. Just, you know, maybe not on the async weekly because you don't want to spend all the time there. For sure. And I do like the question that life reboot has posed in chat. What is the reason it's called free enterprise though? That is because this randomizer mode was inspired by, by the Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise randomizer, which starts you off with the airship in that game. And by having the airship, you have all the modes of transportation except for accessing the moon in that game being the final area, more or less. Whereas in our case, we have everything to access pretty much everything except for Mirage and Topher in and of itself going to the past. Um, 
So with the entire world being your oyster, just this flag set allows you to do so many different things, test so many different things, learn so much for your movement options, as well as what's going to be optimal for either yourself or optimal for in a race situation. So one, one other note on the, the name of the mode. So the reason it's called Free Enterprise in FF4 is that the airship's name is the Enterprise. <laughs> yep. I wanted somebody else to say that because I have speed ran a lot of FF4 in my day. <laughs> Unfortunately, well, we really it's the Invincible from FF3, but we'll never get that. Right. I, I will <laughs> pass on that clunky airship, but thank you. <laughs> Oh, come on, you don't want to start every mission with, like, torpedoes flying out at the enemies? No. Fantastic. Seems fine. Because once you hit endgame in FF3, it doesn't kill them. True. Hmm. True. But yeah, um, that was free enterprise. Yeah. And faster than what I've been practicing, so. In other news, Sonny's practiced quite a bit. Yes. He's... He's been trying to put on a good show for you tonight. So, uh, you know, high five, thumbs up, some claps in chat. GG. Yes, and thank you all for the GGs. And be sure to keep your eye out for Life Reboots Async in the morning. Um, I will be submitting the time that I got on it, as it is one of my practice seeds. And I hope to see a lot of you participate in it and see what you all can do. All right, and if there are any questions about the flag set, whether you ask them here, ask them in the uh, boot camp channel or the async discussion, any of those places will work. We're happy to answer any questions that come up. Yes, and honestly, I'm one of those people that I will say, if you have a question and you want to ping me for it, feel free to. If I'm unable to answer immediately i will get you an answer i promise so looking forward at the uh, next couple days here tomorrow on top of the async weekly being posted we're going to have another community race on these flags so if you want to get a little practice in before that and then come join on thursday night 9 p.m eastern for the community race that would be fantastic friday night we'll have a vod review again or so i'm told Sunday will be our next class of the boot camp. That is going to be week one of the Platy Party. So the Platy Party has a fond place in many of our hearts. If you heard us talk about it last night at the OJ Power Hour, mm -hmm. making the uh, veteran runners here do some blind flags. They're getting more information this year than prior years because we have the themes published. But hey... They're going to have to figure out what exactly I cooked up for them. <laughs> and that's going to be a good time. It's always fun. It's such a great experience for the uh, veteran runners. And it's nice to be able to see all those different folks and how they choose to run things. So looking forward to that. We'll have uh, Maddie joining on the restream. Luffy, are you going to be competing in this platy party? Uh, maybe. Undetermined. If not, I'll be there with you. I don't know. Sonny, are you doing it? I don't remember. I can't. I have a champion rank. I'm pretty uh, sure that yeah. because of mine as well, I cannot. But, I mean, if I can usurp and slip around them rules, I mean, we'll see. I, I think that the, <laughs> Luffy, I think you still have a platypus role. I do, which I think. I think yeah. Do you have a solo tournament? I, I the, the marathon bingo, but not like tourney tourney. <laughs> Uh, so debatable is why I'm not sure. We'll see. Either way, I'll be there to cheer my friends on or race you. We'll see. And I'll definitely be around to cheer everybody on for it as well. So we're looking at some real fun with those Sunday flags. And then again, Tuesday, we're going to have another OJ Power Hour from what I understand. There's going to be, I think, a week off coming up sometime. Just a little uh, schedule conflict kind of thing, but a 
believe this upcoming Tuesday is uh, is it Shum Bobby that's going to be on there? Yes, I it is so, Shum. Yeah. I'm very excited for that one. You know, Shum, a good friend of mine. Uh, they've been putting a lot of work. Uh, Jay Scheidel and Oslato. That was a lot of fun last night, Saracen, doing that with them. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, next Tuesday night, 9 o'clock, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely catch the that OJ Power Hour. Shum is amazing. Yep. I mean, let's be real, Luffy. We've, we've known Shum for a long time. You as well, Saracen. And mm -hmm. got to admit, we all love Shum. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a smart guy. He, he does put some real thought into what he does. You know, he's going to talk challenge seeds and stuff like that. They, he puts a lot of work into them. They're, they're too smart even for me, so I just let him do the thing. Yeah, he definitely has put a lot of work into the Challenge Weekly over the past uh, year and a half-ish. Yeah, give or take. Yeah. yeah, year and a half. So, yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, with that, I think I've covered all my bases. Yeah. Uh, Luffy, you got anything? No, I think you saw, um, you know, uh, we'll like to put on that, though. Like, the we, we giggled a little, about, a little bit about it. But, I mean, that switch that Sony made at the end there to that double black belt, that was by design. Uh, that he was kind of as soon as he hit the double levels on that mage and that black belt, he was going to do that if he came across one. So you could see there's other ways to win this uh, besides just you know a single black belt or a single melee. You know, think outside the box a little bit. It can definitely lead to some interesting party compositions. Oh yeah, and that was exactly one of the things that I was doing as soon as that red mage hit 32. That was going to be the plan all along. Mm -hmm. So if you if you are able to pay attention to your levels, know what you're getting, you'll be able to just blast through free enterprise seeds like they're pretty much nothing. But they are a ton of fun. Um, I do think there's one thing that we haven't mentioned that it may not be a bad idea to. Because uh, we do have submissions open right now for the Summer Marathon for those of you ducks that may Ooh. want to show off something else that you are passionate about. So definitely uh, keep your eyes open on the submissions. Feel free to throw in whatever randomizer you might want to as we show off so many different randomizers on our marathons mm -hmm. we've how many communities have we reached out to for somewhere in the teens i think right now we got a, we got a lot of stuff going on and the winter marathon was a lot of fun so definitely look for the summer one to have some more interesting things going on yep so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that heck yes all right I think we covered all our bases, mm -hmm. right? I think we did. Yep. That's everything. All right. Well, I think we can call it an early night then because, man, that was some blazing fast after <laughs> I wasn't ready for it to be that fast. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ducks. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you to all the vets who come and help out by asking the pointed questions in the chat or by answering things that come up that we miss. I'm looking forward to all the stuff we got coming up in the next few days. But with that, we'll see you all around. Have a good night. <laughs>